So I see today we have a whole little group of invaders invading my kitchen. I think it's because you all want free lunch. So don't lie, I know that's what you want. Um, so you've actually caught me, like good timing. I think I am going to start making some bruschetta because bruschetta is very filling and you can actually prepare it on a Sunday and you can keep it in the fridge for the rest of the week. So I am now going to show you how you make a lovely, lovely bruschetta. So the key thing for making a bruschetta is always to have fresh tomatoes, the fresher the better. And what I like to do is I like to keep them chilled in the fridge because when they're cold, they just have that kind of like extra crunch to it, you know? So what I do is I take the tomatoes and I put them in the bowl. And in the bowl, I mix, here there's some olive oil mixed with some little bits of garlic. You can add some um, balsamic oil or, you know, like any other little flavorings that you want. But for me, I like my bruschetta quite plain. So there's like some salt, there's some pepper in it, there's the grated garlic, and there's a few little herbs and bits and pieces, whatever tickles your fancy. And then you just mix it into the bowl. You can decide how much you want to put in if you want it quite, you know, um, quite loose and runny, or you can just put a little bit in just to hold it all together. And then you just mix it all together. See, doesn't that look really pretty? So you just mix it all together. And what I love to do is that I love, 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 love basil. So we get a fresh delivery every day and you just chop the basil pieces as finely as you want. It doesn't really make a difference. And you just sprinkle it in to your tomatoes and olive oil. And the thing is, even when it's like this, you can actually just eat it like this. I'm known to eat like boxes of this like throughout the week. It just makes for like a really, really healthy snack. But I'm also a big fan of bruschetta because who doesn't love Italian bruschetta. So once it's all mixed in, you can chop up fine pieces of bread. It doesn't matter if it's white bread or if it's whole wheat. This is like whole grain bread because obviously it's the healthiest option, but white bread is fine, but whole wheat is healthier. And what I do is you just place it on the baking tray. Considering there's a lot of you here, I'm gonna make quite a bit so that we can each have at least two pieces each. And then you just put some of the tomato mix with the, with the basil leaf on top of it. Trust me, this is gonna taste really, really yummy. You can put as much or as little tomato on it as you want. I always say the more the better. So now, some people like to eat bruschetta just like this, chill. But for me, I love to have the bread toasted. Now you can have a, you have a choice. You can either before you put the bruschetta before you put the tomatoes on top of it, you can toast it. But what I like to do is I like to put the whole thing in the oven just for about five minutes, just so that it can have like a little crispy taste to it. So now I'm super, super excited when it gets to this point because it means in around seven minutes, we're all gonna have a healthy tummies because this is super healthy bruschetta with the tomato and the garlic mixed in and the olive oil on a whole grain bread. Yeah, I'm starving. So now I'm gonna put this into the oven. You can put it in for around five to seven minutes. It depends how toasty that you want it. I like mine quite toasty and crisp. So we put in for seven minutes at a temperature of about 180 degrees and we have our timer on. So in seven minutes, we get to eat my lovely tasty bruschetta, which I hope you like. So now the moment we've all been waiting for, the bruschetta is lovely and toasty. So what I'm gonna do now is serve it up for my very special Pink Villa guests. Got a beautiful glass plate for presentation and I'm just going to plate it up in a nice little well kind of biggish circle and I'm gonna try one 
Mm. That is so nice. If you want to find out more about how to make this and super, super yummy recipes, then like, comment and share on Pink Villa and tune in to pinkvilla.com. I'm going to enjoy this. <laughs>